Okay, in this video, we're going to talk about uh, three basic functions, which is uh, how to load the design, how to set up the color sequence, and how to trace your design before you start stitching your project. Okay, but first I need to talk about the embroidery mode. The embroidery mode basically works as a switch. Uh, when you're going to load a new design, or when you're going to switch from one design to another, you turn off your embroidery mode. Uh, how do you know that your embroidery mode is off? Basically, you will see a line cross here to this icon. This first icon, you will see uh, a, a line cross it. Or you won't see anything on the screen. That is also a signal that your embroidery mode is off. Now, how do you turn it on? Just press the icon, and then you will confirm it. And then the logo will appear on gray uh, on the screen. When the machine is stitching, that logo will be colored, depending on the colors that you have selected. Uh, you will see there's no line on the icon, and that means that it's on. Now, when it's on, you cannot change parameters on the design. For example, right here, there's a, a lot of a parameters, and you will see here a circle that prohibits that you cannot change those parameters for example direction there's no way you can change that if the embroidery mode it's off it means that you can change parameters you can see there that you now you can rotate the design if you want to rotate you will see that your design it's upside down now but that it's only when the embroidery mode is off. You can change from other designs when the embroidery mode is off. Okay. So in this case, I'm going to show you how to load a design. And I'm going to turn off my embroidery mode. And then I'm going to insert my USB thumb drive here to the port, the USB port of the control panel of the machine. And then I'm going to select this three flower icon right here. And it shows some designs that I have in memory. And then I have the disc, the disc icon. So I will press this disc icon and then this USB icon right here. So now it's displaying what designs I have in my thumb drive. In this case, I'm going to load the tiger design, which by the way, all the designs that you want to load into the Redline machine has to be in DST format. DST format, okay? So I select my design. If I want to view that design, I will press this magnify gl uh, glass and it will show me a little drawing about the design and some information. So it that is the design that I want to load and then I'm going to press this icon that looks like an album with a flower green icon with an arrow pointing like an album so I'm going to press that and now it's showing me that that design is going to be on memory number nine with the name tigers so I will select OK now it's transferring the design from the USB thumb drive into the machine so I will exit now I have, well, I have a lot of uh, tigers right there, but this is the last one that I just load into the memory of the machine. So in order to stitch that particular design, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select that design that I just load, and then I'm going to press the needle with the flowers, like confirming that that design, that's the one that I'm going to stitch. So I'll confirm that. And now the memory of the machine knows that I want to stitch that design. So my embroidery mode is still off. But uh, if I want to change some parameters, I can go to this two gear icon. For example, if I want to rotate the design, if I want to change some scale, whatever um, parameters that you want to change for this design before you turn on your embroidery mode, it's the time to do it. So. In this case, I don't want to uh, change any parameters, so I'm going to exit. I'm going to turn on my embroidery mode, and now it's ready there to stitch. 
But before we do that, we have to set up our color sequence. Okay, so how, how do you do your color sequence? Well, by pressing this two icon that has two needles with the gear. So I'm gonna press that. And now we got our color sequence here. So you can see this is our needles and this is the color sequence. So every design, every embroidery design comes with a color sequence. So here's where you put all your color sequence depending on the design. So you can see here it's showing me that this design has 11 color changes. So I'm just putting randomly colors. It's not obviously the, the colors that, I, that I'm going to use so, or the original colors of the design. And then once I select my color sequence, I will select OK. And that is my color sequence has been set up. Now, the next step is trace. You have to trace. You have to know if that design will fit inside the hoop you're using. And in order to do that, you basically go to this button right here. This is our trace button. So when you press this, this window will appears on screen. It will ask you if you want to do a border check or outline check. I always recommend to do the outline. It's more accurate and it goes through the outline of the design. Basically the pantograph will move through, through the outline of the design. That is going to be the area that the press foot is going to be uh, working inside the hoop. And basically the trace is to confirm if that design fits inside the hoop. Now what happens if that design doesn't fit in the hoop? Well, the press foot of the machine is going to crash outside the area of the hoop, in this case the hoop itself, and, it's, it, and it could damage the machine, it could break the reciprocator, and that will go to, that will incur to a, a, some repair for the machine. So. Uh, it's very important that every design that you're going to stitch into the machine, you do a trace, okay? So you can confirm that that design basically fits inside the hoop. Now, in the two options that we have on the screen, I always recommend to do the outline, okay? So once you confirm that, the, the pantograph will start moving through the outline of the design. Okay, I have a uh, 12 centimeter uh, hoop into the machine. As soon as I press OK and confirm it, you can see the needle number one, the press foot of the needle number one, you can see where it's going to be working inside the hoop. So apparently it seems that the design fits perfectly. Now, the, the head moves because uh, I select on my color sequence that my first color that I was going to use is number 10. So after the trace finish, what the head is going to do is going to move to the uh, first color that you have been programmed into the color sequence, okay?